because this offensive line is in tatters. Three sacks in three plays. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Titan football. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and ten. Mariota now from the 50. Steps away to his left. And he'll be taken down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, a 22. On any given pass play, you never know exactly where your exit points are going to be. On this play, he was flushed to his left, still on the run, able to accurately throw the football for a nice first down. On the ground, this is Derrick Henry, down right around the 25. Malcolm Jenkins up to make the stop. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Now Mariota. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 to the five yard line. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. A first red zone opportunity for the Titans. They've got it first and goal at the six. Mariota eluding the pressure right. Give him a couple on the scramble. It's second down. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. So second and goal, and the big man Henry alone in the backfield. Off play action to Henry. Here's Mariota. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. As his guys are in for six, and the Titans have taken a first quarter lead. Well, that's about as quick of a passing touchdown as you'll ever see right there. Everyone has a section in their playbook called the quick game. That was a super quick game. Out of the hands of the thrower, bam, right to the receiver, successfully for a touchdown. How in-depth is that quick game part of the playbook? It's pretty in-depth because people want the ball out of the hands of the quarterback into the playmaker's hands downfield as fast as possible. There are a lot of plays, a lot of options involved with that. Extra point put through by Suckup, and that makes the score 7-0. Now here's Suck about to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Back onto the field comes Philly's offense. You know, Charles Eagles, they've kind of gone from having one of the most enviable quarterback positions in the league so a couple question marks here because you got Carson Wentz still recovering from the knee injury. Nick Foles with a shoulder injury now. And the thing that they've got going for them, even though it's a little bit unsettled right now, is that it's not as bad as maybe it appears. Carson Wentz has now been cleared for 11 on 11 work. They're hoping contact will come sooner rather than later. The injury to Nick Foles, believed to be serious at first, not so serious now. They think that he'll be ready for the opener. And Nate Sudfeld, their number three quarterback, after two weeks of the NFL preseason schedule, leads the league in passing. So maybe it's not quite as bad as maybe people thought. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Back to the air on second down. Wins. Jeffrey reels it in over the middle. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. An eagle first down. Wentz hooking up with Jeffrey. Back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gauden. It's the Eagles with the ball here to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here. 